So next up, we have Chris Arsenault with Entrepreneurial Capital. Ensuite, nous avons Chris Arsenault. Merci. Okay. So everybody's talking about the venture capital model being broken. That's probably because in 2001, over $3.8 billion were invested in tech companies across Canada, while we just closed the year 2009 with slightly under $1 billion. I don't think the model's actually broken. It's just that I think that it never actually worked. Under 25% of the number of VCs out there are generating over 80% of the VC returns. And in Canada, we're at minus 0.2% over the last 10 years. Basic VC model is that one deal out of 10, out of 10 is going to pay out the fund, while three or four are going to die, and four or five are <coughs> actually going to be paying back the capital that was invested in it. So... Just to give you an idea, a $100 million fund, in order to be part of those successful recurring venture capital fund managers, has to return $300 million. When a venture capital fund basically owns about 20% of a comp any given company, it means $1.5 billion that needs to be generated in exit value. How many companies do you know were sold for over $150 million alone in Canada? A $100 million fund needs 10 of them to succeed. So I think it's time that we get a bit more realistic in terms of the type of returns that we need to generate. Two times the fund, which would be approximately 15% IRR, would still require us to sell or go public with companies over $800 million in value. So I think that startups and entrepreneurs need to do more, need to do more, do more with less capital, understand what venture capital is and what type of value needs to be created with it. Entrepreneurs need to choose their investors, and investors need to better understand their entrepreneurs. And at the end of the day, it's all about the community. Understanding, support, m wanting to make a difference, and giving ourselves the right tools to make a difference. <clears throat> so the good news is that I think that we're on the right track. And Ignite, like uh, Tech Vibe, Startup North, and Startup Camps, they're really creating the environments for entrepreneur entrepreneurs to share, collaborate, and make, basically make a difference from the grounds up. We're, we also have our own financial models to fund seed and early stage companies. Of course, we can always look down, in, down south and to look at the Techstar models and Y Combinators, but in Canada right now, we're creating our own models. We have to stop wanting what the U.S. has and start building it ourselves. We need to create our own food chain, our own leaders, both on the investment side, on the angel side, and on the entrepreneur, uh, on entrepreneur community. Good news is that we have a brand new breed of VCs across Canada. And this breed is basically managed and led by entrepreneurs. Not only the funds are being managed by entrepreneurs, but more and more venture capital funds, investors are also managed by entrepreneurs. So what does it mean? It means that entrepreneurs are starting to fund entrepreneurs. And that's going to make a huge difference, I think, in the next five to ten years. So what's the right model for an early stage venture capital fund? Unclear. It could be like back in the, the heydays where $250,000 could make you know, a $5 million type of return and make everybody happy. Or it could actually require many millions of dollars like it was in the early 2000s. It's still unknown. The good news is that governments are being more and more involved. Well, that could be bad news. <laughs> it could also be good news. The reason why I'm saying it's good news is that they're basically putting the money in the hands of other entrepreneurs and private fund managers, and that's making a big difference. So we're starting to see VCs look at passion, look at talent, look at the serial entrepreneur, uh, how they're building clusters and teams is extremely important. The major challenges for VCs, it once again, comes back to the, what, what I just mentioned, this, not enough serial entrepreneurs, not understanding what type of businesses they're, they're basically investing in. And it, it actually looks a lot like the entrepreneurs' issues, which in terms of serialness or starting one, two, three companies, there's not a lot of entrepreneurs that are coming together yet to, to help build uh, companies. So at the end of the day, in order to make it happen, it's about the community, about the tools, about venture capital, the capital itself, and about the entrepreneurs. And my question to you is, what is, going to, what is your role going to be uh, in our new economy? Thanks.
Thanks, Chris. Merci.